Hey gang, good evening, Anthony Fontana here. I'm actually doing this from the living room, which is not a room I normally populate at all uh, here. Um, I, I can be honest with you, I, I very rarely sit in here for any reason. Uh, it's just, uh, it's just kind of cool to do it in here. Uh, we're, we're working on a room to do these videos in and we have a whole background set up and stuff like that, but we're gonna take some time. So I kind of wander around a little bit. So here's what I'm talking about tonight. Hi Lou, what's going on brother? I gotta tell you something. We're, we're blessed. We, we have a great life. We, we love what we do. We love, we love everything about our lives. And do we have challenges? Everyone does. Uh, but, you know, we have fun. And we always find things to have fun about. I mean, we started watching Gary V. wine videos from like 2006. And, of course, we're drinking some wine. And uh, we love wine. So we got into watching a few of his videos, and uh, now we're going to take a class in, in, in wine videos, you know. Uh, and that's how we keep the, the excitement going, uh, you know, uh, 13 years into this uh, you know, relationship. I'm a blessed man. So what, you know, I said tonight, what am I going to talk about? I, I've been so busy, I haven't had a chance to even think about it. I have to do a video tonight. She says, well, talk about gratitude, you know, and talk about doing gratitude uh, uh, conversations. So I said, okay, wow. That's like my favorite subject. This is my favorite subject. Uh, you cannot give with a closed fist. And I've been, I've been doing that most of my adult life, where when you do something for someone or you give to someone, either financial or spiritual or moral or F work, you know, something on the side of whatever you do to help out, it comes back to you. And I've always known that. I've always known that you're blessed 10 times for anything that you give. Uh, you know, the whole tithing concept. Well, tithing isn't just money. Tithing is you giving to this universe. And uh, I have, I know for a fact that I've changed lives for people that I don't even talk to anymore for years, that I know that things that I've done have helped them. So just tonight, when MJ mentioned it, I'm like, you know, we, we, we're, we, we, this is a great conversation. Like, for example, this ring light, I use a ring light. We have a couple of these ring lights. Uh, what's going on, Brother James? And uh, when we, the ring lights help with the lighting, you know. And again, I don't have the background yet, but the brick background is actually behind me over here uh, in this living room. And it's going to be moved out of here. It's not a place for it to be. It's just being stored here. But we have three of these things. Here's another one. So why do I have three? Well, I bought one uh, when I began doing live videos uh, uh, some time ago because they do help a little bit with the lighting. And... You know, and if you look at it, I can kind of adjust it and, and goof around with it. I can make it brighter and softer and oh, I can go crazy. So they're a lot of fun, uh, but they do help. And when we're in our, the new studio, when we set it up, we'll have two of these on. We'll soften the lighting. We're going to have a full, a full studio because I'm going to be doing probably four or five videos a day in different platforms and for different reasons. I'm following Gary's advice yesterday uh, when I was on the phone with him, when he called me. And he said, dude, you need to just give yourself away. Now, there are certain things that I can't do giving myself away, you know, as a paid tax preparer, a tax accountant. It's my job. It's what I do for a living. Uh, and, of course, the, the, the mortgage business. I take an application. I have to submit it. The bank pays me. The borrowers don't. But everything else that I do, I do because I don't really want anything in return. Because the minute you start asking for something back, now, guess what? It, 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 it kind of turns people off. So when he said that, I, you know, and after we hung up the phone, MJ said, well, you do this all the time anyway. So I thought, okay, then we're going to continue doing it. We're going to step it up. So we're going to be doing more and more free stuff, more free content, uh, actual live coaching with anybody that wants it for the next half, you know, next year or so, completely free. Anyone that needs my help on the coaching side of life, gets it for free, gets that time, unlimited, unasked amount, whatever you need, I'm going to be here for you. So anyway, so the conversation started tonight with, what do I talk about? Well, it was gratitude and maybe giving. Well, she mentioned something about a mutual friend of ours that, you know, that does a lot of videos, an amazing human being, we love her to death, she's in uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota, and uh, she's just a huge person to us, we just adore her, and I, she said, yeah, she could use one of these, you know, lights, you know, because to do her videos, we know she's not using one. She says, I know she's not using one. And I never thought about it. So I reached out and sure enough, it's been like, wow, uh, just this young lady would love this light. So we're going to dismantle this light as soon as I figure out how to do it. 
and we're going to ship this puppy out on Saturday. And uh, she basically said it will change her business. I'm like, wow. If that changes her business and she's someone that we're super, super excited about being friends with her and a hubby, then I, I, that's just why we did it. So in seconds from her conversation to sending the, sending the, the message that, hey, you, like, could you use one of these things? Oh my God, yes, I can. And here it is going in the mail on Saturday. That's just like, uh, I know it will come back a hundredfold. Because the joy of seeing her succeed in providing for her and her family, the excitement of knowing that it's in good use somewhere else, because it's really just sitting here gathering dust. And, you know, we, we're blessed enough to have three of them, so we'll give one away. I want you to do that. So I'm going to challenge you guys to do exactly that. I want you to figure out a way where you can share. Uh, I'm going to lower the light a little bit, turn it down. So I want you to figure out a way that you can share a little bit of you. Look. Where we, we do okay. If, if, if I want to bless somebody, you know, financially, I can afford to do it. I have no issue doing that at all. Uh, you know, I know it comes back to me. But oftentimes what we do has nothing to do with money. It might be making a phone call to someone's lender or someone's bank and solving a major issue that they just couldn't figure out how to do. It might be just finding a path that they can follow to get a problem solved. And stepping up and doing that and not asking for anything. Okay, oftentimes people do a favor, they expect something in return. That's the old, uh, the old mafia thing, you know, I'm going to do something for you, but you might have to do something back for me someday. No, it doesn't work that way in life. It just doesn't. You need to give with an open hand like this. Okay, because if you have a talent that other people would love to have access to, but don't know even how to ask, they're afraid to, uh, you can figure out a way to help. I know you can. You know, I got a lot of smart people. I got 3,800 amazing human beings on my wall. Everybody that connects with me on Facebook, mm -hmm. I know personally. I reach out, I mm -hmm. find out what they're about, and I talk and communicate. This is my job. This is what I do. And I am fully aware of the challenges that a lot of people are going through. And if I can do something... You might not even know I'm doing it, but I'm going to do it anyway. I want you to do the same thing. It doesn't cost anything to be nice to people. It doesn't cost anything to step up and help somebody out. If you have the ability to do that, or it might just simply be you referring someone to someone that can help them out, right? Because I don't know. It depends on the challenge, right? But I'm not in your world. You're in your world. I'm in my world. My world is a pretty big world. I got a lot of people, you know, revolving around us. I see people every day, all day with stuff happening. And oftentimes I will reach out and try to help. I want you to do the same thing. This is a challenge, 30 day challenge. I don't know, all these challenges that pop up on Facebook, 30 day challenge. If everyone did one stinking thing per day for the next 30 days, that's 3,800 things that could possibly happen from my group in the next 30 days. How cool would that be to do? Lou, what do you think? That's something we can do, right? Hey, Don, how are you? Paul, what are you doing, brother? Mr. Foster on the call. I appreciate that. So it's just something that I want to put out there. Uh, you know, MJ tasked me with this, and we're doing it. And we do it, we do it as part of our life. We just do. It's just the way we, we're built. And uh, she's a giver. I'm a giver. We just love to do things. Um, can't help everybody, but we try. So I'm going to ask you guys to do that. So I'm going to ask you to step up. We're going to have a toast to you tonight because I know when you get off this, you're going to start becoming aware of what other people need. Because oftentimes we don't, you know, we don't look at what other people need. We only look at ourselves. We're looking inward. We're looking at all the crap, stupid stuff that's going on in our own life. And we're not thinking other people may be going through the same thing or maybe going through something a lot worse. And many times it's a lot worse than whatever you think is your challenge. Uh, you know, I don't look at anything as a problem. Everything to me is a challenge that can be solved. There's a solution to every gosh darn thing. And I know for a fact that every one of you are a solution-oriented individual that are going to reach out and find somebody today. So find somebody today. Find someone tonight that you can help and do something for them. It doesn't mean you have to ship out, you know, a, a ring light or give them something physical or pay a bill or do something it could simply be a phone call. It could be a text message. How are you doing? How are things going for you? Just thinking about you. I'm wondering if you're okay. 
that may be enough to change someone's day, change someone's life. So I just want you to understand that that's how I feel. It's something that I want you to do. I'm going to wave to a couple of you guys that are on here. I don't know. Hi, Suzette. Hi, Ricardo. What's going on, brother? Great conversation. Mr. Thomas, hope you're feeling better, brother. Joe, my man, Joe. Joe, we need to see the band. Let me know when you're playing next. Lizzie. Oh, my God. Our friends from Texas that we met. Lizzie, guess what? We're heading back to uh, Excellence Playa Mujeres uh, on, the, on the 31st of March for MJ's birthday week. God Almighty, I wish you guys were meeting us down there. We better connect soon so that we can talk about an upcoming trip and meet you down there. Tommy, what's going on, Tommy? Eugenio's on here. Uh, Jimmy, I uh, love you guys. Andres is here. And uh, Dennis, my brother Dennis from Chase, right? Bruce. Uh, wow. David, how's your dad doing? I hope he's doing okay. Louis on here, of course. So I just wanted to mention your names because if I don't see you hitting the pound key or anything, I don't know you're on here. And I want to acknowledge the fact that you uh, joined me. So, Mazel tov. A toast to all of you. Love you guys. Thank you for joining me tonight. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for watching. And uh, we appreciate you. So go help somebody tonight. Love you guys. Have a good night.